Hey, I just wanted to say hi, and I'm not really back to making videos yet, but I don't know. I just thought I would check in on you and make sure everybody's doing okay. Um, we're doing fine here, just allergies still. We've been um, self-quarantining for well, a long time, ever since they told us to do that. been getting into a habit of not getting out and getting regular exercise so I've decided that that changes today I'm going to get out every day and walk or maybe run just a little bit today I ran a mile and then I walked a mile and I picked up my friend my little white dog he he does not like to stay at his house and I know it looks like he has a bunch of collars on and stuff I think that's the owner trying to keep him in, but he breaks everything. He, he has the uh, electric fence and everything. He, he just breaks through every time. Anyway, he's very friendly. He just likes to come out and say hi and walk with you for a minute. And then he goes somewhere. I don't know. He goes back home. We actually, uh, the guy who owns him actually came and picked him up the other day. He didn't want to go. I mean, he did not not want to go, but he, he's an adventure, adventuring dog. So he uh, he had to pick him up and put him back in his in his vehicle to take him on. He um, I don't know. He's just a wanderer. He cannot be chained apparently. So I don't know. He, he keeps me company on my runs when when I do see him. Anyway. Oh, I love these little um, ear pods. Whatever they're called. They're they're not. that I got at the seller surplus for five dollars and they're Bluetooth and you wouldn't think that they would stay in your ears when you run but they do so if you I think that they're just they're just Amazon ones you can get so you don't really have to pay the gee whiz how much is it two hundred dollars two fifty for a name brand pair I don't know these work just great for me so anyway, so on before I started my run today, I saw a little little tiny baby snapping turtle, and uh, I took a little video of him. So I'll put that in here. And then I, I put him back in the water, even though we really don't want snapping turtles in our pond. I don't see. I don't know how you're gonna keep them out in in the country, cause boy, you, you sure wouldn't want to go swimming in there with snapping turtles. They will bite a finger off, bite a toe off, or so I hear. I don't know. I'm scared of them. But he was cute. <laughs> I I just hate to not help a little baby anything. And so I, when I came back from my run, I looked over where I threw him, and he, there he was floating in the water. It was cute. So I, I took my camera out to get a picture of it, but as soon as he heard me or saw me, he dove back down. So I'm kind of sitting here waiting for him to come back up so that I can get a picture of him. And as I was sitting here, um, my little white dog friend 
um, came, was was going to go down to the water to get a drink, but he saw this big, long snake skin that a snake has shed. So I got that on the video too, so I'll put that in here. So anyway, that's what's happening. I'm trying to soak up some vitamin D. I don't know. It makes me feel better. I know. I, I worry about the skin cancer. I do. And so I don't ever like to get a sunburn. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like if I just get it a little bit gradually and don't ever get too much, then it's um not too bad. Sorry, I am. I'm leaky because of my allergies. Hey, quit marking everything, dummy. He's my dog friend. He's he's having a time. Boy. The last time that, well, the first time I met him was a couple weeks ago, and he followed me all the way to my house. And I thought, oh, maybe he's really starving and he's homeless. And so I went and got a hot dog, and he did. He snubbed his nose at it. So I've never seen a a homeless dog turn up any any kind of food really and so and then I thought well huh I've got this old boiled egg in my fridge that needs to be thrown out maybe he'll want that he didn't like that at all he eventually he eventually did eat the hot dog but he did not like the boiled egg at all so I had to call little bear out and she ate it anyway it turns out that this big giant white dog and my little Scotty dog hit it off very well. They didn't, they, I mean, my dog was so curious to see what, where that smell was coming off of me. Cause you know, he'd brushed up on my legs and stuff. So I let her out cautiously and um, they both were just so friendly to each other. And then they started kind of playing with each other and chasing each other. So it was kind of fun. I don't know. Mom and dad are probably going to be really worried about that, but. This is a nice dog. He's not going to hurt anything. Boy, he's... I should probably go on up to my house while he's down here so he doesn't follow me all the way up to the house. Okay. Hey, I hope y'all are doing well. And I miss y'all. And take care. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this voiceover, which I'm not very good at. But, okay, after um, I got back in the house, I decided to break my fast with... Uh, with these eggs and I'm starting to try to eat more vegetables so I scrambled up these Egglands best I uh, eggs with some broccoli and onion and it was actually yummy it wasn't bad I'm try I kept the broccoli up really small so that I don't know they cook up nice and soft it wasn't bad and then I'm also trying to drink a little bit of the apple cider vinegar with the mother in some water every day. That's supposed to be really good for you. So anyway, that was my breakfast that day. And then I went out and laid in the sun for a little while and read a book. Okay, so I'm trying to catch a little sun out in the backyard and, and my friend here will not leave me alone. He keeps coming up and just like breathing all over me. So I'm kind of over my visit with the dog now. There he is. <laughs>